Panamagat. PACSC orders JIT to probe corruption charges against PM Nawazharif. New Delhi. The Pakistan Supreme Court on Thursday ordered the formation of a joint investigation team JIT to probe PM Nawazharif and his family's involvement in corruption in the Panama Papers case. In a split judgment, the court cited insufficient evidence to outright convict and remove Zarif from office. The five-judge bench, comprising Justice Asit Saeed Kosayar, Justice Gulzar Ahmad, Justice Ihaz Afzal Khan, Justice Azmat Saeed and Justice Ijazal Hassan, delivered the landmark judgment after examining arguments presented in the case. The 540-page verdict was split three to two among the bench, with two dissenting notes in the judgment by Justice Kosayar and Justice Gulzar who said that Jarif should be disqualified. Further, the court directed Jarif and his two sons, Hassan and Hussain, to appear before the JIT, which would consist of officers from different agencies. The investigative team has been given two months' time to complete the probe into alleged corruption by the Jarif family. The JIT will present its report before the bench after every two weeks. The case was launched on November 3 and the court held 35 hearings before concluding proceedings on February 23. The case was based on several identical petitions by Pakistan Kiri by Inzaf Chief Imran Khan and others about alleged illegal assets of Jarif's family in London. The assets surfaced when Panama Papers, a collection of leaked documents, showed that they were managed through offshore companies owned by Jarif's offspring. The petitioners had asked the court to disqualify 67-year-old Jarif under Article 62 and 63 of the Constitution because he was involved in corruption. Jarif's supporters hailed the decisions as a victory of justice. We have been vindicated as Prime Minister had last year asked to set up a probe commission to investigate Panama leaks scandal, said Kawaha Hassif, Defense Minister and close ally of Prime Minister Jarif. Earlier, the area around the Supreme Court, located in Islamabad's Red Zone, was put on red alert, with around 1,500 police rangers and frontier constabulary personnel deployed for security and maintaining peace. Hassett Arli Zerdari, the co-chairman of Pakistan People Party PPP in an interview with a private TV channel had asked Jarif to resign in case the decision went against him. We did not resist when the Supreme Court disqualified then Premier Hizat Rasa Jalini. We chose another Prime Minister. Notwith should do the same, said Zerdari. Zerdari's hand-picked Prime Minister Jalini stepped down in 2012 when the Supreme Court convicted him for disobeying court orders. Zerdari chaired an important meeting of the PPP yesterday and also called another meeting today after the court decision to assess the political situation. Jarif's nemesis Imran Khan and his party announced it would launch a movement for the next election irrespective of the decision. Khan held the meeting of party leaders yesterday and asked them to remain in Islamabad to decide the further course of action.